All right, I'm going to have a go with Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, December 14th. Um, I half-heartedly tried the crosswords earlier in the week, which should have been easier, but I don't know, I was really struggling with them. Um, but I'm going to give this one a go. I did look through the down clues for some reason and spotted a couple I think I have. So knowing I'm going to have a foothold in the crossword, I think I'll give it a go. Today's is set by Panga Kupu, just in case that comes up. So the first one that caught my eye was Spa Article. Longing to get stuck into that. Well, Article is usually A, N, or the. And I was thinking of maybe the with a longing could be a yen, but I couldn't make that work. But then I thought of an and ache. If you ache for something, you long for it. And I believe the German city of Aachen is a spa city. Um, now this one I haven't looked up, but I think it should be a straightforward anagram of adores gin. And then it's going to mean extravagance or with extravagance. Nothing is coming to me, but then the other one I saw, um, a heightened writing style. I immediately thought of magic realism and claims mirage is shimmering, must be an anagram of, um, I think I've seen magical realism as well, but um, let's go with magic realism. So having these two, is that going to help me get stuck into the top left? Means to fill stove, joining me, to supply one, not at home. Um, so I think the supply might just mean that you, after the word play in the first part, you're going to get one not at home. So then means, a word for means goes inside a word for stove and joins me at the end from that M position. One not at home. But um, means filling a stove, what would a stove be? Is a hob just the, the hot plate that is part of a stove? Or could that actually be the stove and what would means be of course it could be financial means or it could simply mean to have the, <laughs> mean to have the meaning of all right how about former religious figure not entirely accepting church swap well, from the letters we have, swap could be exchange. Uh, and so former is X. Religious figure. Oh, I think is angel, but not entirely. And that accepts church, which is CH. And we get our exchange. All right. Used primarily to hang, put in inverted position. Well, used primarily oh, would be um, the letter U. And then if something is hanging, it is pending. And so to upend means to put in an inverted position. We have some... Uh, vowels for one down. Dined with a solicitor around end of case. Well, end of case is the letter E, so I presume it's that E. Um, so then a word for solicitor goes around that E. And we may also need that A. I'm thinking of 
had dined with eight dined with eight something but then it would be a t something you something is a is a solicitor of course it may not be a legal solicitor it could be a uh, beggar or someone going door to door tied with a solicitor no but if um that is that a is correct means to fill stove now one not at home no oh, oh away away something ah the means could be way and then a stove would begin with a how an aga an away game yes so it's one that is not at home as an away game all right that should now help with our adores gin i don't like trying the anagrams until i have some of the uh, letters i thought it might be ing but no the g is at the at the start that's a good anagram go and rise Oh, oh, I thought it might be Ness, but there's only one S. It could be N. Oh, no, I'm not sure what this could be. Grandiose, I suppose. Let's see how that would work out. Grand, and then I have the uh, I, the O, oh, two Ds there. Grandiose with extravagance, that seems right. All right, uh, oh, I never looked at 13. We have the starting C, which is very useful. Hard job retaining first opening for rock singer hard job could be a chore I'm, yeah i'm thinking it's going to mean a singer something like a chorister maybe maybe exactly like it so the chore has in the middle of it ist which i think is first is it yeah and then we have the opening for rock at the end yes i'm happy enough with that edited merest outline giving extra time to this show extra time to this show is it an actual tv show that's funny a two-letter word starting with e i am wondering if it could be Let's see, how many letters do we have? 12. Oh, yeah, so I, th I think it might be an anagram of merest outline, but giving away one of its extra T's for time. But then is it... Um, What is to, it could be like M, like apostrophe E M. Extra time to this show. Okay, well let me try merest out. Oh no, I need to get rid of that. Ooh line. I 
show. Nothing is uh, jumping out of me. Extra time to this show. Nope. All right, uh, let me just take another look at this one so we can finish that little corner. Dined with. A solicitor around end of case. No, that should be obvious. We're not getting it. All right, how about sauce? Feel bad after ingesting old one. Well, ending an eye does suggest it could be some sauce feel bad could be ale after ingesting old yeah they're um a old am i saying that or typing that correctly i'm going to pause and check the spelling it could be io yes it, it is indeed io all right that's important um old man and young woman twirling throughout. Old man can be pa. Or, I mean, the whole thing could be father, but I'm thinking it's more likely to be pa and then something for a young woman. Now, maybe she or the letters of the young woman twirl. Um, yeah, so, hmm. and does it mean throughout? Pa miss, pa girl, pa, 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 hmm. No, I'm not getting that. Second, which could be a verb meaning to agree with, um, token. Used in Montana. Well, Montana is MT. So could this be? Uh, yes, a second. It's actually in the meaning of time is a moment. And we have an omen, which is a token in MT for Montana. Saving time scan each flower i think this might be a sort of punning double double definition saving oh well of course it could be no i'm not sure exactly it could be a flower sweet pea um but how do we get saving time i do see that we end in ea which can be each so saving time scan yeah not um Oh, here yeah, I think this is uh, very convoluted. It's sort of at the outskirts of what I think I can reasonably solve. To scan an area might be to sweep it. And it saves or includes a T. So you put the T for time inside sweep and then add EA for each. Yikes. Wow. Oh, but now... Um, yes, now I do get, I just glanced up at that, and I thought of the word passim, which you see in, um, 
indexes or references that something is referred to throughout PASIM. And so it is PA and MISS, and the MISS is twirled or reversed. Great, that gives me this M tangled mass on lake needing large equipment. Well, the tangled made me think of uh, an anagram, but we don't have a T and an R in the most likely words mass and lake. But, um, yeah, hmm, not exactly sure of what this is going to mean. Could be tangled, or it could be large, or maybe it's just equipment, motor, motor something, motor car. No, I think I'm going to need that second last letter. Here was our giving extra time to this show. I think I added an E, but that's not going to help me. I think I really need to work out if that is EM, ER, ET. Hmm. No. All right. Let's uh, move on. Cancer the lab destroyed, having freedom of action. Well, that sounds like an anagram of cancer the lab, meaning freedom of action, laissez-faire. Um, carte blanche, that's it. Okay, um, let's look at 16 down. Large number, ignoring European aboard spacecraft. On the contrary, it gives a sort of a kick. So I think this is going to be a sort of a punning definition at the end of the word. It gives a sort of a kick, which could be like a spicy um, spice. <laughs> Can you describe spices as spicy um, or a sauce like our aioli or however you say it? So large number, ignoring Europeans, maybe a word for a large number and you take out the E and then you put it inside a word for a spacecraft. Whoa, what will that be? A shuttle, a rocket? No, nothing is coming to me on that. Daughter, so that's usually D, given violent shock with wife leaving, completely swamped. So I think it's going to be a word that means swamped or, um, or completely swamped, but completely could be part of the wordplay too. So I think it starts with D. Then a violent shock minus its R. What would that be? Taser. Um, and then completely swamped. Swamped. Drowned. Drowning. Well, that still has a W in it. All right, how about U.S. cities backed argument for amalgamation? Hmm. So I think we're going to start with a U.S. city written backwards, then a word for an argument, and the whole thing means amalgamation. I'm trying to think what the ending of a word could be that would mean amalgamation. I mean, it could be S-I-S. -S. Oh, like, um, no. Um, 
Yeah, but but then that has to play in, I think, to an argument. Of course, maybe the U.S. city goes forward and the argument is backed, but I think the way it's written, U.S. cities backed means we have put it backwards. The first one that comes to mind, funnily enough, is Reno, which, um, what does it call itself? The biggest little city in the world or the smallest big city in the world? But that nicely goes backwards, but, um, that would be good for defining onerous, but amalgamation. It's probably some sort of um, con word, conglomeration. Uh, Macon. Conem. No, not getting that either. Um, look, look at 15 down just because of that H is interesting. Laughter about open mic initially upset Big Shot. Um, well, there's a lot of um, wordplay words like open could be the letter that opens something about might mean reversing something initially the first letter upset maybe an anagram so i think i'm gonna to have to find a word for a big shot or maybe a word for a shot could it be like a film shot a photographic shot but it is um interesting I was thinking of behemoth, but uh, that's too short. All right, how about uh, trains under review? As expected. Seven, five. Um, is it a word for... First of all, for review, a synonym, and then a word for trains. And the whole thing means as expected. Oh, um, I do have, came up just looking at what fits in there, thought of rolling stock, which means trains. I can see as expected is stock, but how does um, under review mean rolling? I'm going to go ahead and click the check this button. It does seem to be correct, but I confess I don't get that one. If you do understand how under review means rolling, then uh, please let me know. Okay, that gives us the position of the L in this show. Could it be a British TV show I'm not familiar with? Hmm. Okay. Um, question over penning occult knowledge in book. Um, well, penning, I think, can mean putting a word for occult knowledge inside a short word for a book, which could be a book of the New Testament, or might just simply be B, or... I think it might mean question, and then over it could be an O, 
but it begins with an O, means question. No, not getting that. Insecticide, source of dangerous mistakes involving iodine. No. Oh, I was doing so well, and then it all came crashing down. Performer on Britain's Got Talent, perhaps, to trick panelist. Oh, yes, so I was thinking it is going to be some kind of act that you would see in a variety show, maybe. And I think to trick is con, and a panelist is a juror. So that one was actually fairly straightforward. Now, that gives us a very useful J here, um, along with the H. Laughter, which could simply be H-A, about open mic initially, might be just an M in there. Oh, um, I think there's some word, well, no, I'm, I was thinking of, I think, panjorum, but I do wonder if there's some uh, Indian word that entered the British language for a, a big shot ending in something job or Mm. Open mic, initially upset, big laughter. Nope, uh, we do have a nice uh, K here for 27 across. One broadcasting catchy tunes. They have loads they can take up. I think this might be a... No, well... Broadcasting, of course, can be an anagram indicator, but they have, I think that it might be a very literal thing at the end. They have loads they can take up, like um, hod carriers, if anyone remembers that. I'm sure there still are people carrying hods on building sites. Um, they have loads they can take up. Yeah, that's it's all very cryptic. It's almost like I'm doing a cryptic crossword. Um, disruptive, seeing move of university in the red. I think this might be a word for red or a shade of red, or maybe just in the red as the expression, but you move the use position in the word and you get disruptive. Let me try and think of a shade of, <coughs> excuse me, red with a U in it. And it's probably going to have to have, um, no, oh, no, I was going to say it had to have certain letters, but I'm not sure what letters it has to have. All right, I'm going to pause, think about that. Oh, I'm going to get some water as well. Well, I didn't really see any good um, shades of red. Uh, rusty, maybe, has a U in it, but not really uh, disruptive. And, yeah, it doesn't really match uh, disruptive could be rowdy, but I don't see the wordplay. However, I, um, after getting my water, got some pen and paper, wrote down the uh, letters of merest outline minus a T, and I got Son A Lumiere, one of the earliest, right, um, forms of film projections with sound and light. And so I was a type of show. Now, 15 down. I think 
carte blanche has to be right. So M something H. Well, I'm not. Um, I'm going to pause again and just think about what I mean, could it be MCH, MC Hammer? No, I think it has to be a vowel. So let me. Oh, Maharaj, Maharaj or something. I did think for some reason, uh, India. Mahar. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can work it out from the wordplay. What is the laughter? Oh, uh, oh yeah, so I think it is ha-ha. Might be the laughter and it goes about. Open. Oh, is a jar. Okay, so I think the H and then we jump up to this one and that goes about a jar. And then Mike initially and then all of that is upset oh very good now one broadcasting catchy tunes they have loads they can take up um ah yes <laughs> so one broadcasting is sky they use them quite a lot, I have noticed in the crossword here. And hooks are the catchy tunes. And I'm not exactly sure what a sky hook is, like a crane, I suppose. Uh, so I think that'll do. All right. A cruel behavior is accepted by unhappy male. Well, the first thing I think of is the word is might be put inside an anagram of male. Um, you could have an ism ending. Elaism, leism, alism. But I don't know what cruel. Oh, sadism. Yes. Ah, uh, so. Unhappy is sad, is, and then male. So it's sad, M, and then you put the is inside. All right. Well, we get some S's at the end that aren't going to be very helpful, but we do have this one, which I suppose we could have guessed would end with um, ED. So given violent shock must be R something and then and it has a W and you take that away completely swamped. Of course it could be literally swamped, but um Yeah, but the given violent shock part um uh, not thinking of anything. Uh, let's leave it for now. Um, so now this does begin with R. Now let's try. Uh, well, we've looked at this one. Question over. Yeah, um, not getting that. And that was our insecticide. Oh, the source of dangerous, I think, in crossword ease is the first letter. So that's D. And then mistakes with... Insecticide, uh, well, DDT, but uh, 
source of dangerous mistakes. So dangerous, D, and then mistakes. Um, something. Let me check what the symbol for iodine is. Yeah, it's simply I. So what would... Um, but I think the I must come in the middle of a word for mistakes. But it's, I suppose, confusing me because it looks like it's going to be a plural answer, which I can certainly see for mistakes. But then an insecticide seems to be singular. Oh, but maybe it's a, um, a Latin or a scientific name. Let me see if there's some insecticide chemical I should know. Well, I wasn't finding it, but then I sort of worked out from the wordplay that er, ers could be mistakes. And if you put the I before the S, you get this word deris, and I found out it is a plant and its roots contain a strong insecticide. So that is good to know. Um, disruptive. Um, so I did, when I was looking at my shades of red, I saw rose. And if you put a U in that, you get rouse. Is that disruptive? I don't think so. Let me check that. Oh, oh, rouge, maybe. In the red, rouge. Oh, yeah, so it's actually the other way around. It's a word for disruptive, rogue. And then you move the U forwards and you get red, rouge. All right, so now our question over penning occult knowledge and book. There can't be too many words that match that. What comes between the R and the final O? Another R, an S, a T. Actually, it's quite a lot of <laughs> things. Oh, um... Yeah, there is a, um, isn't a quarto a size of book? So I think question is Q and O is over. And that's penning or surrounding occult. Occult might simply be you for unknown, I don't know, I'm guessing here, and art for knowledge. Let's go ahead and check that. That is correct. So now that is the bottom right corner, more or less complete. We just need one here for our tangled mass on lake needing large equipment. I'm going to pause and think about that one. No, nothing is uh, coming to me. I was thinking of matted for tangled as in matted hair. And mass, of course, could simply be M, and so maybe the whole thing means tangled. M. And I'm thinking maybe it's a name for a lake, but you take away the L from it. Um, and then equipment, a word for equipment at the end. Uh, no, nothing is coming to me. I think I'm going to take a break here for lunch and come back and hopefully finish this later. All right, I have had my lunch. I'm uh, having my after lunch coffee. Taking a look at these last few clues, I'm not going to spend much time on it. Uh, so if I get them quickly, great. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, reveal them. I did look up um, 
synonyms of amalgamation. And one word which surprised me, it's not something I would have thought as meaning amalgamation, is synthesis. And so New York City apostrophe S can be NYS. And if that is reversed, you get sin. And then an argument is your thesis. So I can see that all right. Oh, I don't think um, I've looked at this one at all. Steers line through border regions. Uh, well, the immediate word starting with H for steers is helms. And line is L through hems, which are borders of clothes, I suppose. And uh, this... Um, completely swamped if I am right about the D swamped um, I can see without the uh, D we could have wrinkled but I don't think that means um, so skin violent shock completely swamped I do think it might be something like a GL or a KL. Oh yeah, the wife might be, it might be a WR word, but we take out the W and uh, put in a D instead. Wrangled, wrinkled. Uh, although that L, L is not, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, I don't think I've looked at um, 24 either. My goodness. Allowable wrestling maneuver is not yet determined. So to, to uh, something to be seen um, by something on Oh, as, as something, but oh, so I think it's going to be a short word for allowable. And then what's a wrestling maneuver? Oh, a hold on, hold. So allowable is on. I don't get that. Let me just check that one. It's right. All right. Um, how about our large number, ignoring European aboard spacecraft? On the contrary, it gives a sort of a kick. Oh, a scissors kick. So now can I work this out? What's the large number ignoring European? And aboard a spacecraft, oh, is there some um, acronym for something like the, uh, oh, there's the ISS, the International Space Station. And I saw the trailer for the film called ISS. That looks like it could be a, a good premise anyway. Looking forward to that one. Um, but then where's the large number? Oh, I think on the contrary might be R. Hmm. But I do think a scissors kick, right? So let's just check that. Yeah, it's correct. Oh, so now uh, swamped drenched. Ah, yes, and so it is wrenched. Now, is that given a violent shock? I think um, I have heard the the older expression it was a great wrench to him i don't know if people still say that all right then there's just uh, two left dined with a solicitor around end of case there must be sh some short um word for a solicitor t something u something no, I'm not going to get that, so I'm not even sure about the eight part, so let's reveal that. 
I'll eat out, of course. Oh, and a tout. Yes. Ticket tout, I suppose, is a form of solicitor. And then finally, tangled mass on lake. One word that came into my mind, I've usually heard it to mean explosives, but maybe it just means military equipment in general, is materiel with an E. But I'm not sure. Oh, there is Lake Erie. Um, tangled Mass. I mean, if, if we had another T, we'd maybe have... No, what we're using the ER is going to say Matter. So that just supposed to be M. On Lake maybe just means at Erie. And then the L. Yeah, that's another one where I'm 90% sure, but don't quite uh, understand it all. But let me uh, check everything. Looks like everything else is correct. So, um, yeah, after such a bad start to the week, I didn't even bother recording videos. Finally, on Thursday, I do it in a yeah, respectable time for me. Of course, the experts get it done in 10 minutes or so. All right. Well, thank you for watching and have a great day.